Mike Edwards, Bib in front of Netanyahu, Tasman Park and Neck in front, Oceana Blue flashing home, Tasman Park. Tasman Park's won it from a photo. But Detonator Jack is storming over the top of them, pounding at the 100, joined by Detonator Jack. Detonator Jack takes the lead, he's a good horse. Detonator Jack and Neck pounding. Life Lessons going well from Belle Riche and Life Lessons, smart one, Life Lessons won it from Belle Riche and wrote... Welcome back to the channel everybody for listed uh, Kensington Stakes Day and JRA Trophy Day. Quite keen on a couple here um, and I think that Jake Mikar is going to have a very, very good day as well as another good trainer but let's get into the preview and find the winners one bias pick in the preview but the rest of them i think are very good chances so let's find the winners for uh kensington stakes day race number one at for is a three-year-old benchmark 70 handicapper for the 1200 meters and i'm with river noir here peter moody and jamie carter get an early winner here 54 and a half um for jamie Carr. At standing debut at Moe, ran on from the back and won by 4.5 lengths, just proving that she was better than Maiden. But better that he, sorry, was no she. I got it right the first time. Is better than Maiden class, and I think Jamie Carr is going to get the first winner. River Rebel for second, very good chance. Was outstanding on his debut from being gelding gelded. Blake Sheen in the saddle draws on great barrier, 58 kilos, great chance. Uh, she dances the other moody runner in the race for Nolan. Couldn't quite make the weight, I'm assuming. That's why he's taking the ride on She Dances and not riding River Noir. Good chance. And O Tycoon, Beyond Baker for Ben Mellum. He doesn't bring him down from City for nothing. But River Noir for mine in the first 45, the win for Jamie Carr and Pete Moody. Pretty confident. Race number two at Fleming is a Phillies and Mares benchmark 70 handicap over the 1100 metres. And I'm with Cattell. Another one for Peter Moody, but this time with Carling Heffel in the saddle. She claims a two kilos, bringing the weight down to 57 kilos. Drawn barrier eight. Perfect run from that barrier. Uh, it's going to remain three from three, 260. Close to my best bit of the day, but not quite. But I still think it's going to be very, very hard to beat here. From Ojo San second. We'll be getting back in the run, but we'll be hitting the line hard. Hannah and Hannah Edgley is in terrific form. For real life, ever so consistent. Drawn nine, good chance, but just, yeah, can't... It'll run top three. It'll run top three, and no way ever for fourth. But with Cattell in the benchmark 70 for race two at Flemington, 50 the win. Race number three, Fleming is a benchmark 84 handicap over the 1600 meters. Another one for Peter Moody here. They were back with Jamie Carr, 56 and a half. I know I'm talking about pounding. Barrier seven for this horse over the mile. Pretty keen on its chances. He ran into a very smart horse last weekend in Detonator Jack. Moody Stable wouldn't back up the horse for nothing. Winnable weight, Jay Carr aboard. Beautiful barrier. It's very hard to beat here. Aaron Bay for second. Probably the most hated horse by punters, as in it beat Cardinal Gem the day where everybody was on. And then one uh, disappointing f running fifth first up and then one last start. Zach Spain retains the ride. Probably goes for all from barrier two. Good chance. Unanimous for third. I just thought was under the odds at the price. And another one for the sydney stable coming south at ten dollars but i'm with pounding in aaron bay leaning the woods pounding 35 of the win and the saver of 10 the win on aaron bay race number four flemington is a benchmark 70 handicap over the 1800 meters and i'm with the bottom way here for john o'shea jamie carr john o'shea brings the horse south and he finds a great jockey to ride it in jamie carr 55 kilos very consistent 1800 meters drawn barrier three lands in a plum spot uh goes uh lands midfield to four to midfield i'm very very keen on his chances here and 25 probably isn't enough but i still think it'll be winning here from freedom escape second i really wanted to try i really wanted to see if it if i could put it on top i couldn't but i think it's gonna run a real cracker of a race in for second Matty cartwright takes a claim hollywood park i think was over the odds just forgive its last start run nothing against tom preble but i think 
uh, it was just too wide on the turn and had to make up too much ground. And then I have got confrontational uh, for fourth after sustaining a long run at the Valley. Swept up, won impressively, but for my awesome John, the winner of race four for Jamie Carr, 25 the win. Race number five for Fleming is a benchmark 84 handicap over the 1200 metres, and my best bet of the day comes up here. It's another one for Peter Moody. And this time again for Jamie Carr, 54 kilos, barrier eight, invincible caviar. Her mother was a very smart horse in black caviar. Undefeated, 24 from 24, and I think that her, the daughter here can put another win on the board uh, and make it three from four this campaign after a disappointing run at the Valley. She bounced back in dominant style last start and was very impressive and I think can be winning again here. Mortimac for second, I thought, was under the odds. 1,400 metres back to 1,200 metres. You don't see that happening very often, but the stable know what they're doing and they do find Damien Oliver to ride. Monarch of Egypt for Craig Williams and the Hayes boys, first up from Shah 10, I think can run a bit, a bit of a race, but probably needs further. And Will Tom got back to his best last start at Ballarat. At, um, and I think can go on with it here and at 15 again over the odds but invincible caviar for mine 45 the win another one for Pete Moody J Carr race number six of filming and it's the first of the two features of the day it's a listed JRA trophy over the 2600 meters and I've got person on top rates well ahead of the rest of this of the rest of them here um, coming out of the third in the zipping classic behind vow and declare and Lunsies. If you're and if you're running third to Vow and Declare in a Group Two race, you're clearly good enough to be winning here. Drawn Barrier One, perfect. They're gonna go to the lead on him. Does carry the top weight, but deserves to. Harry Coffey knows the horse well after riding him last start. Um, I think it's just take him to the lead, kick at the top of the straight, and turn it into a sit and sprint and run him off their legs because he's the best horse in the race and I expect him to be winning here. I've got True Marble for second. It was a disappointing run on paper in the Sandown Cup though. Blake McDougal didn't give it much. He's booted off here. Jamie Carabord, 54. Brilliant jockey booking. Drawn better in barrier five. This becomes uh, a test of attrition. I think he's the one to beat. And Noble Heights for third, under the odds for mine at 340, one of the probably at least five dollars to back him, and never again, big win last up, has to come up in grade here, but I'm with Persan, 30 the win and five the win the saver on the Ruffy in true marble in the listed JRA trophy. Race number seven at Flemington, it's the second feature of the day, it's a listed Kensington Stakes over the 1,000 metres down the straight for the speeches, and I'm with the topper here in Howard Wars and the absolute straight track specialist, Andrew Mallion in the saddle, he makes a trip south to ride this horse second up, uh, didn't ride it first up, that went, oh sorry, did ride it first up, it was very good in the GH Mum Century Stakes and running fourth over the 1,000, second up here will improve length, second up loves dry ground, uh, loves flowing then I cannot understand why at the at the prices he was 950 now back into 650 I can see why very good chance for mine you long come on for second goes forward and I think can run a race at 54 with Jamie Carr and it's back barrier 10 great chance 9 into 750 alpha one now in Sydney so ignore that tip and S of the rocker for fourth but I'm gonna have 30 the win on Hal Borson and 20 the win on Yalong Command in the listed Kensington Stakes over the 1,000. Race number eight at Flemington is a handicap race over the 1,400 metres and I'm with Corner Pocket. Bit of a bias pick here, uh, but carries the top weight though. Tommy Stockdale brings it down to 58 kilos. Drawn 15, they're going to have to... Um, burn him across and to take the lead. The only way he's going to have any chance from that barrier. And I think they'll do that. Uh, ran outstandingly on its resumption at Pac uh, Ballarat, sorry. Now up to the 1,400 metres from 1,200. Clearly the one to beat here and has opened favourites. That gives me a bit more confidence. Nicolini Vito for second was absolutely outstanding in the gold bullion last start on the same day behind Paldora. And I think that form's going to show up and be a uh, good form of race to follow. 56 for Damien. On the, the barrier makes it a bit tricky from 12, but I think he'll run top three. More Varda, the one that's going to be up on speed with Corner Pocket. Jamie Carr on the setup will give his all, and we know how much he loves Flemington. And Morrissey, I thought, was over the odds, the old boy. But Corner Pocket for mine, 40 the win, race eight, Flemington. 
Race number nine at Flemington, the blast get out of the day, and it's a benchmark 70 handicap over the 1400 meters, and I'm quite confident one here, and that's indifference, the 15 for James Cummington, Jamie Carr, Jamie Carr and the get up, and I'm pretty keen on it here, loves this distance range, having two starts over the 1400 meters for one win, three starts on top of the ground for two thirds, I think it's the one to beat in the last here. Nice weight, nice draw. Later in the day, 1,400 metres. Jade Carr, like I said, clearly the one to beat. Victory Bay, I have to have something on because uh, on its best form, it, it can clearly run a race here. And I think Will with Luke Nolan in the saddle. And for mine, it was Peter Moody or Jamie Carr in the get out for mine. I've just gone with Jamie Carr. Corona led for Blake Shin. Uh, good chance. After running in the Melbourne Cup Country Series final, running third. Shin sticks, and I think it's a good chance. And he's exceptional. Bowled away last start to win impressively. And if it can back it up, good chance. But Indifference and Victory Bay, the two for me in the last seven, uh, at 7.50 for Indifference. $5 for Victory Bay, 25 the win on both of them. Thank you for watching my preview for the listed Kensington Stakes Day and JRA Trophy Day. Hope I found some winners here. Quite confident on a few and a couple at value. So let's hope that they win and I'll see you next weekend.